Zeno is a runtime for JavaScript, TypeScript, and WebAssembly. It's similar to Node.js and aims to fix many of the issues Node hasn't. In this video, we are looking at the top 5 features of Zeno versus Node.js. If you're new here, like and subscribe, and let's get into it. Number 5. Fetch API In Zeno, you can use the Fetch API like on any modern browser. You don't need any third-party modules like Axios or Gaut. I know that this feature is also coming to Node.js soon, but I still think it's worth mentioning. Number 4. TypeScript Support One of the cool things about Deno is that you can run TypeScript files without needing additional modules. In Node, you would need external packages like TSNode to do this. Number 3. Security In Deno, permissions are needed to access the file system, perform web requests, etc. By default, Deno prompts the user for permissions, but this can actually be bypassed with certain flags. Number 2. Browser Support One of Deno's goals is to provide support for web applications. Deno gives you access to the window object and lots of other browser APIs. This means that most code runnable in Demo will actually run fine in a web browser without any major issues. And finally, number 1. Decentralized Packages If you're from Node.js, you probably download your packages from npm. Deno has a better way, with URLs. Instead of downloading packages from a centralized server, in this case npm, you can instead specify the URL. You can still use most npm packages, and Deno keeps a cache of the package locally, so you don't have to worry about the server going down. Now, those were my top 5 features of Deno. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.